and the Boy Scouts. Of course, the motto is be prepared, but nothing could have braced a Ravenna Eagle Scout for the tragic accident that would change his life. Lindsay Buckingham shares his incredible story of survival, determination, and the power of positive thinking. If you're looking for 21-year-old Alex Copen, you'll often find him here, playing with his dogs at his happy place outside his family's spacious home in Ravenna, and soaking in the nature he's long admired as an Eagle Scout. A gifted athlete in high school. Played sports, I played soccer, I played lacrosse, I was good at both. And a bit of a daredevil. So. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. I like to do like adventurous things, whatever it is. He's always been very active, never walked anywhere, always ran. It was the only life Alex knew until a year and a half ago when a trip to New York with his buddies changed everything. I'd never been skiing. I'm like, all right, let's go. The group was having a blast. Alex was getting the hang of it. He went for a bigger challenge. It was kind of like a joke at first. We're like, oh, like, let's go down this black diamond. And it's the last mogul, and I'm going really fast at this point. And I hit it, and I just kind of closed my eyes because I knew I was going to crash. I landed just right, and I broke my T12 vertebrae. Alex, unable to move his legs, in shock on the helicopter ride to the hospital. I knew I broke my back understand the way of it. I didn't understand what that meant. He would soon find out. After a 12-hour emergency surgery. I just remember the doctor coming in and he's like, you're paralyzed, you broke your T12 vertebrae, and that was pretty much it. His parents terrified how he'd process the news. Yeah, because I know how active he, he is, and I know that um, my fear was that he wouldn't want to live that way. But that's not Alex. That's not the Copen way. I appreciate how straightforward the doctors were. I'm glad they didn't lie to me and give me false hope. It's hard to digest and hear that because I'm like, nah, I'm gonna beat this, but it's not something you can beat. And it's not like a matter of will, it's just a matter of reality. He got to work, spending months at Craig Hospital in Colorado. He's endured grueling therapy and six surgeries to try and ease his constant pain. It's the warrior mindset that keeps Alex going, and that's, that's a big time tool that, that he's really fortunate to have, for sure. His friends and family know that too. Last month, they threw a golf outing fundraiser to help get Alex an adapted mountain bike back on the trail to nature where he loves to be. I really want to like go travel the country and take my bike with me and go ride and just see the world. He's not one for attention, but he'll never forget this act of kindness. If I didn't have a family to keep living for and my friends and my community, I don't know if I'd be here. I mean, those are the most important people in my life. Oh, he's 100% inspires me. Yeah, he keeps me going every day. I know Alex 2.0 is going to be incredible because he was incredible before he got hurt. These days, he's leaning into his inner strength, that scout mentality, hoping his story will inspire just one person to hang on. And my dad has just raised us and my brothers to just never quit, and that's the way I am. I'm not going to quit. You just have to take it a day at a time and just fight those demons every day and try and find something good every day to focus on. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. Hmm. And members of the Copen family tell us they're nearing their goal to buy Alex that mountain bike you saw in the story. If you're interested in helping them achieve it, please go to our website, mm. WKYC.com. There's a link right there.